in the Philippines Tsuji's photography exhibition to mark the Tsuji Philippines chapter's 20th anniversary and to commemorate the first year anniversary of Typhoon Haiyan is still ongoing. Next, we go to the exhibition site to meet two local volunteers and see how the Buddhist NGO has helped them regain hope following the disaster. Now I am an orphan, but being a volunteer for the Tsuji Foundation helps me stay away from bad influences. Tsuji gave me the opportunity to feel the warmth of a family once again and the chance to meet new friends. Meanwhile, at Tsuji's photography exhibition, local volunteer Angeli Balasanos explains to participants the story behind each picture. Balasanos also reunited with the Tsuji volunteer that gave her a warm hug a year ago. I remember when I hugged her, I said, cheer up, hang in there. Our encounter inspired her to become a living bodhisattva. The warmth Balasanos received from Tsuji will stay in her heart forever. Sister Lili gave me this booklet. I will write my stories in here. In the years to come, more inspiring stories of local volunteers will continue. In September of this year, the Jingzi Books and Cafe in Taiwan donated 100,000 sets of books to areas better by Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. In the same month, a delegation from the Tsuji Teachers Association in Malaysia arrived in Omak to share what local teachers had to incorporate Jingzi aphorisms into their curriculums. Recently, volunteers organized a Jingzi aphorism drawing contest to see how well these children have been able to apply these words words of wisdom in their daily lives. Teachers and students from 60 schools flock to the Ormark City Stadium as this is an event not to be missed. As you can see behind me, this is no ordinary art contest. This is a genius aphorism drawing competition organized by the Tsuji Philippines chapter at the Ormark City Stadium. These beautiful illustrations are the work of elementary and high school students of Omak City. When you say bad things about the others, you are actually making yourself look bad. With good intentions come blessing, with strong voice come strength. Reading out their favorite Jingzi aphorisms, students express their own interpretations through colorful drawings. This picture, depicting all things harmonious in a global village, illustrates one young boy's inner wish. Mother Earth for letting us be safe and the children happy every day and loving their parents, for mother and father or grandmother. Jingxi aphorism, the, all the thoughts that we use, then uh, we really give examples to the students, especially how to love your family, then how to love your uh, environment. More than 300 entries were narrowed down to 100 in the semi-finals. From there, the panel of judges went on to select their favorites. In the end, however, not only were contestant winners recognized for their outstanding achievement, but all were awarded for their participation. This is an exhibit of the students' artwork. The competition ran from the end of October till early November. It was first a class competition, but later expanded to the entire school. They found out that it's very important, especially for the formation of the values in our students. Uh, they are even applying it now in their respective schools. Small amounts of money patiently accumulated can do great deeds. At the event, local government officials, teachers and students also brought their two months worth of savings to donate, thus putting their love into action. 
Residents of Jingling Village, located in the Philippines' Cavite province, first learned of Tsidi in summer of 2007 following two devastating typhoons. Starting in 2008, Tsidi began carrying out its charity missions locally. Let's now take a look to see how these seeds of hope have brought a chance for residents to finally leave their poverty behind. <laughs> Dreamland Village, here over 400 residents live among the garbage as they simply have no place else to go. With no tables or chairs at home, Jefferson does his homework on the ground while a discarded bottle replaces a compass. It's okay, I'm used to it. I'm very lucky compared to others as I have help from Tsuji, which means I can go to school. 18-year-old Jefferson is currently a student of Cavite State University and also a Tsuji scholarship recipient. When I received my scholarship, I was filled with an indescribable happiness, especially when I received the full vouchers. Thank you. These five pieces of food vouchers are a part of Tsuji scholarship package. Such help is key to helping students like Jefferson continue on the path of education. Without the scholarship aid, he would probably just spend time goofing around with his friends and not concentrate on his schoolwork. Thanks to Tsuji's scholarship, he now studies hard. I hope he can get good grades and one day repay those who've helped him. Tsuji's scholarship aid helps the three children of this family go to school. It also carries the message that only through education can one leave poverty behind. After graduation, the first thing I would like to do is to be a volunteer. This will give me a chance to give back to society. The second wish I have is to quickly find a job. Jefferson's connection with Siji started back in 2007. That August, Typhoon Pabok and Wutip brought massive rains and flooding to the area of Dreamland Village. In the beginning, there was no system. The garbage came and they just dumped it out. The children here would grab what they could. A lot of the food was rancid. Seeing what they were eating, it made me cry a bit. Volunteers next slowly put together a list of who was living in the village. Starting the following year, regular aid distributions, free clinics, recycling seminars, and continuing education classes were held to help residents find a better future. Such love was also repaid in kind. During the months that we were holding our distribution, they would give us bottles filled with change. Despite their poverty, they were still willing to make a commitment to collect money on Tsuji's behalf. That was very moving to see. Despite the poverty of Dreamland Village, great love is to be found here, as well as spiritual wealth. Thank you, thank you. Their existence here feels like a gutted candle. It is hard to see how a recovery could happen. But for us, it is simple. We see that education is the road to helping them leave their poverty behind. Tsuji volunteers thus put into action a plan to help the village's children keep a clean and orderly appearance, and also donated school supplies and meal vouchers. We are poor and depend on the sea for our livelihood. Tsuji's help for our children, including paying for school fees and living expenses, has been one of the best things that has happened here. Tsuji continues to offer assistance and in all those years has never given up on us. Since 2007, Tsuji has been here in Dreamland Village, bringing hope and ensuring that the village one day really lives up to its name. <laughs>